Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here for a jewelry jar, jewelry bag, unbagging, unjarring. We're going to do a bag of bangles and I have never found one like this before, but this is um, quite the bag of bangles. I just sold one of these or packaged it into a grab bag and here I get another one, including one in gold. Actually, what's going on with this is this is a new Goodwill that opened up and they are pricing their bags at different prices, which is wonderful. So I got this one for $12.99, but they still had some going as high as 50. So that particular day, there was a little bit of a rush on them and I grabbed what I could because there was a couple of ladies in front of me and they grabbed the other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and see what we got today. Okay, I'm gonna try to eliminate some of the tape noise. That can get quite loud, especially those of us who wear headphones, right? right? We got the noisy tape out of it. Now let's go ahead and just dump them all out. Ooh, okay, lots of bangles everywhere. And normally I feel like sometimes we get too many bangles, especially those skinny, crooked, tinny ones. I figured for $12.99 it can't Normally, be. Yeah, I do not really like bangle bunches, but these looked interesting. This is a nice one. Not bad. Gold tone still on that. So that's nice. If you can pair it with some other ones, that would look great. Oh, this is pretty too. This one has some gold rhinestones on it. And they don't appear to be missing. They all... That's a nice average size, too. Look at that. I forgot to show you my rings of the day. Let me do that. You're going to one day see them all, so I won't have to show them to you. But people do ask that I show them, so I will. This is that um, orangey one that... Um, it's interesting matrix on there. They said it was coral. I don't believe that it's coral. But I still fell in love with that bamboo shape, and it's a big, thick piece of sterling, so I love that. I've got my James Avery love ring, my wraparound rings, and I've got this amazing specimen of jade set in copper <laughs> this is an old vintage piece Amber and even diamonds and pearls and other things were set other precious gems real precious gems not just semi-precious gems were set in um costume jewelry all right then i have an amazing persian turquoise piece set in sterling with white topaz and grape garnets and i love this ring quite a bit what is this? This is like a little play on the Chanel look, I think. It's like they incorporated a couple of C's here and there. Not quite a total counterfeit, but definitely a little logo-inspired thing. That's kind of cute. I like that. Here's a nice one. Look at this pretty thing. This looks like the real deal. It's not, but it's nice and heavy. I like the quilted diamond cutting on that. That's very pretty. That is really pretty. Oh, by the way, my husband fixed the garnet. I don't remember if this was gold, 10 karat gold or gold filled. I remember I tested it and I found it in a jar and I fell in love with it. Let me see what it says. But he fixed it for me and I haven't taken it off for a week. I love it. It was missing a uh, jump ring. I don't remember. There may have been a mark, but I remember uh, that it tested as 10. So it's either gold filled. But those are definitely beautiful garnets, kind of on the... Uh, cognac side more on the brown than the red side love that okay got that at the last jar just wanted to show you that because i'm really loving more of these little bangle types uh, skinny ones if you pair them with others they really look cute a little array i don't know about this one this one's missing some pieces there so i might just might just put those in a crafter this is pretty i've seen these with the uh, little rhinestones and things they're so lightweight I wonder how they feel when you wear them. And these have little caged beads on them. Yeah, I've never seen them with the big beads like this. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is also silver tone. Does not appear to be sterling at all. But I like the little puzzle design. That's pretty. And it's got a really nice look. I like that. That's a nice green color. Love green. I'd wear that with some red. I really like red and green together. That's a beautiful shade of green. Matches my, my jade ring very nicely, don't you think? These are super cool. I love these. 
I just put one of these in a jewelry jar I put together and I really like the look yeah look at that I love this and then there's a gold one too look at the gold one not gold but uh, gold, gold tone bronze brass that silver is so pretty I'm kind of glad I got another one because I did send one off in a jewelry jar wow. big grab bag by the way guys people do ask me if I have a shop I do have Etsy, eBay, Posh, Mercari, and all of the like. But I've been dedicating a lot of my time to my auctions, which I hold on Saturdays over on Facebook. So 5 p.m. on Facebook every Saturday, unless I'm on vacation or something, and I let you know, I will be over there doing an auction at 5 p.m. Central. Now, if you ever do see anything in a haul or anything that is of your interest, my email address is always listed in the description box. Give me an email. I'll be glad to discuss a transaction with you. I really don't discuss it in the comments because sometimes I don't even see it. So the best way is to send me an email, thelmahordes at gmail.com. Again, that information is always in the description box. And let me know, hey, I saw that green bangle. What are you asking for? it? And then I'll... We'll figure it out that way. But other than that, we really just come here to look at jewelry. I'm not going to post um, any prices on the screen or anything like that. This is cool. This is cool for those that still like to wear the armband. Oh, it's such a cool look. I never did wear one. I had a best friend who sported the armband, arm bracelet, arm cuff, whatever it's called. What do you call it? <laughs> did you ever wear one? She wore them all the time. She was so much cooler than me. Love her. She's still my best bestie friend. We can talk one day and it's like we never lost track of time. And then maybe a decade will go by or well, maybe not a whole decade, but years will go by and we've lived our lives and we will come back to the same place in high school. <laughs> Love that. All right. And then here is a, a real nice set of bangles. These are in very good condition. These are silver. This is a nice little play. Look at this. I like this all together now. Yeah, that's pretty. I love the jiggle of a whole lot of bangle game going on. These are nice. I like this. This is a little carnelian charm hanging there. This is copper. This one, the other one is brass. This one looks like copper. This one looks like brass. This is a larger kind of a gunmetal. Good condition too. At least these bangles are in good condition. This one's gorgeous. This one has all of the rhinestones and in great condition. What a pretty, pretty look. I love that. Love bracelets. Don't you love bracelets? Oh, here's one with little rhinestones. Bracelets and rings. This one's a little large. They are my total weakness. I to give pendants an equal opportunity, though, because I realize how pretty they are when you look at them in the mirror and then, or when someone compliments you on it. This is interesting. So they do really light up a, an outfit and really compliment your other ensemble. Oh, this is pretty. This has, like, speckles of orange enameling through it, and it's hefty little wear on the inside but that's not a problem so I do like to um, give that those pendants equal opportunity and you know it's funny but people always say I don't really like pendants oh my god this is a little hard to put on on that right hand because they don't show but you do the same thing with earrings and you're not really looking at your earrings all the time right I can't get that on the, op the openings a little on the tight side so that's good for someone who wears a smaller size I have an amazing cuff I'll have to show it when I do a jewelry haul, um, it's a Navajo, really pretty, but it's so big. And I was hoping that I could um, squeeze it in to fit me and even fix it because it had a little ding on it. But the ding doesn't bother me anymore. Honestly, it's it's kind of not that visible once we, we kind of worked on it, my husband and I. But um, it doesn't fit me. And I guess it's, it's even kind of big for him, actually. It's wide for him. I don't think he would wear such a wide cuff. So, I don't know. I have to show it. Okay, here is a tag piece from, I don't know where, but these are those beaded ones. Look, look like it had a little bead ball chain in there. Wherever that came from. Here it comes. Okay. 
This is cute. These are pretty commonplace. Sometimes the colors are a little bit more interesting and that's actually a comfortable one. They can scratch sometimes when they're not finished well. I love this. This is pretty. This is very lightweight tin like, but it's such a cute look. A little rust on there. This might benefit from a little spray paint. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Or a little touch up paint because that is really pretty. Gives me kind of a Spanish dancer look or something. That's what it reminds me of, like a Spanish dancer's hair accessory or something. That's pretty. Ow. That hurt. Oh, these are super cool. These are like the 22 karat look for uh, kind of a Bollywood or um, Indian Pakistani wedding. Oh my gosh, those are rich. Those are awesome great condition on those two and I know I've mentioned to you a few times but the imitation gold that um, kind of um, kind of emulates the the Bollywood or the Indian wedding look is quite expensive even the costume pieces because look how well made that is that's just a, I'm surprised that's even big on me because these are usual wouldn't these look great twinning I love twinning Oh, I love that. Uh, my dream is to get the Tiffany and Company bone cuffs, one for each side, and then not be able to eat for probably two years. But, uh, you know, you could bury me with those twin bone cuffs from Tiffany. Yep, that's what I want. And of course, I would love them in gold, but I do like them in silver. I think I originally, originally they took the world by storm in the silver, so definitely the silver will do. This is pretty. I think this is just some kind of enameling over some kind of resin, but what a pretty design. That's a nice festive look. I like that. Yeah, that is so cool. I like things like this too. Very interesting bangles so far. This one's a little worn. It's a copper base and the copper's coming through. At least the stones are still there. Boy, there's quite a few of these. There's three so far. I guess they wouldn't and they're all about the same size they're on the extra large size well how comfortable are they though they're so lightweight you can't hardly feel them here's another pretty one more of a brassy tone i love this one look at this now if there are no rhinestones missing i will say bingo we paid for the 12 dollar bag and then some yeah, I don't see any stones missing, do you? Oh, I love black jewelry. That is, that's a nice size, too. I can see that it's going to fit perfectly. Almost too tight. Now there it goes. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Isn't that a pretty look? And it's oval, too. Sits really nice. Oh my goodness, I love that. Isn't that a pretty, let me straighten out the stack here. Love it. That's a cool look. All right, I'm glad I didn't pinch myself with that one. Look at this thing. This is a stretch, but it's got a really nice look to it and it's blackened. Don't, un don't uh, scoff at those stretchies. Some of them are really pretty. And women love them because they're easy to slip on. You got a quick look. And uh, sometimes people have trouble putting on. It would look really nice with this one. Because then they look like they're 14 karat. Actually, they look more like 18 karat. A little bit yellower look. Those are pretty. And this one is a charm. West Company. It's got a cross on it. It's interesting. I guess you could pair it with this one. I like the silver one. None of this, the the um, rhinestones are missing on this one, so that's not bad. I'm not too crazy about the other. But look, there's a whole bunch of it to do that. I don't know. This doesn't look too bad. I'm not crazy about the charm. I think it throws it off. Yeah, I kind of like that all by itself. That's kind of cute. Together they look kind of cool. 
yeah a little puzzle there that's pretty and this is kind of a rope rollo structured rollo here design rollo design this is nice this is stretched too almost looks like a lot of crosses or something there every time i do the stretch i think i'm gonna lose it <laughs> and the silver was that two silver no just one another arm cuff this one's in good condition. More of these. We'll put some of these together so we can lock them together, the ones that match. So we got that one. We got some gun metal and this little teeny one, gold one. Simple. Enameled cloisonne here. And a rhinestone. The rhinestone's nice not missing any pretty i just sold off all of my cloisonne i believe so we can start a collection again that's a pretty color lots of green and pink in this one yeah i like this one nice this is kind of a plastic black bangle Here's the big elephant. This one's nice, the big elephant. <laughs> it's got elephants, it's got rub. This is really cool. I like this. Very, very nice. Very pretty. So we got two beautiful oversized cuffs. That's amazing. I love that. Also go with that, um, that little ensemble here. So we got quite a few of these. That's pretty, and these are larger. Got some more zigzag. We got the red and the blue. Those were cool. Love those. Twelve ninety nine, guys. I don't think it was a bad jar at all. I am definitely going to list these or bring them to auction. I think they're amazing, and um, they look great on. I really love the silver sparkle with that. Very nice. We even got a little cloisonne as well those are always pretty this is interesting too i like that look with those little specks. i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will give it a thumbs up on your way in or out please uh, don't forget subscribe if you haven't the subscription button is on the right it's always a free subscription read my description box if you're interested in joining my auction group and hit the bell for notifications so you'll never miss another video thank you so much for being here i'll talk to you soon bye bye